Hello and thank you for watching this video. Today we're going to talk about how to do the index match in Excel and how to merge several data sheets in Stata. For the setup I created a fictional sample which you can see here in the main table and now you want to have a correlation or investigate the sample. However, the variables you want to have in this table are not in the same data sources. So you have several data sources and you want to combine them. And we, we want to see the other tables as well. Let's say you want to have the number of uh, the population in total for the uh, names and the towns. And uh, we do see that in column F and you have the number of population in this in another Excel sheet and also you are interested in the number of cars you also have that in a different Excel sheet now you want to combine that in that example it's quite easy just to copy paste it but imagine if you have thousands of variables or creating another panel data set it's not that easy actually so what to do if you clicked on that video you know obviously how to do that at least the command which is about the index match so let's start i just did it before otherwise you would see me type it in and that's quite boring actually but we're going through that and that's the wrong sound sorry it's going to be here obviously and that's it that asks me uh, Excel asked me now to update the values which I don't want to do I should um, turn that off actually so now I'm going through that obviously it starts with the index and then the name of the table where the variable is you want to see or want to have that is in table population short pop and that is the search area the search matrix and that's a quite small sample so it just goes from a1 to j25 and then you want to match it with the main table and the index you chose or i chose is c2 so meaning column c um, because we have the town names in both of the tables so, and that search area also in the table population goes only in column C. And the four in the end of the line means the variable population is in column D. So you just need to count it one, two, three, four. And then that's pretty much it. Then you can drop down it. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And we can compare it 30, 40, 50, 60, and that's 30, 40, 50, 60. So you did your first index match. Now we can just click along with the number of cores. It's actually the same setup. So I just copy paste it. Uh, sorry. And then you ask me for updates. And now we just need to change here the table name cars because it's quite similar so you see that's the easiest way to 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 give a short example but um I'll show you what may be the problem if you have data sheets um is it doesn't come along in this nice setup right so before you have the index match either you know what to do or you just manipulate or rearrange the data in a way that you can easily do the index match otherwise I would suggest to rearrange your data or see if you have the um, an ID you always need an ID for the index match right so either you go with the column C or with column A with the IDs um, now you know how to do that in Excel I'm going to show you quickly how to do that in starter as well you go in Stata. So I already insert this uh, data sheet for Stata. However, you need to know if you upload that in Excel, you need to save it first then in the Stata version like point DTA. Otherwise, I think it won't work. 
So just upload it, save it, upload again. And now that's the main table. We can have a quick uh, look at it. So that's the main tab if you remember where it stops at the average. And now we want to combine it and have at least the variable population. So either you know the command or you can do it manual here. You click on data, combine data sets, merge, and then one to one key variables and the key variable, the match variable I chose here is the ID now. So and then you browse to the data you have uh, let's in that example the population one and then you click on OK and then it shows you matched four numbers also the number of observations that has been matched are four and then you can click on browse or type in browse and then you see population has been matched and is now in your complete data sheet so now you can try that also with the number of cars or any other variable you are interested in. And if you do have any questions, leave them below. Thank you very much.